one of the things that impacted me the most, and it's hard to say which one it is when you're writing a whole book about flamingo facts, right? But one of the things that most impacted me was that in that river full of thousands, and this was thousands. I mean, in a zoo, you see 20, 25, right? This was pink as far as you could see. I mean, I just can't even explain that picture in my head. Thousands of flamingos, but there was also crocodiles in that river. And there was, there were humans in that river, you know, tourists getting close to them and they just stood there, right? Like they were not afraid of the danger, what we would call dangers in their environment. They just stood there. They continued to do exactly what they were created to do regardless of the apparent dangers around them. And most of us, I think if we put on our flamingo hats for a minute, we might be tempted to say like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in that river. There's crocodiles over there. You know, I don't know if I'm supposed to be in that niche. There's some other people over there who might, what, what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Do you know how flamingos escape? Crocodile, they really have almost zero predators other than disease because they are so watchful of one another that they can see those crocodiles coming and they all take off and fly away. And they nest and stand in such shallow, muddy water that most of the predators can't get to them for slipping and sliding and making a fool of themselves on the way there. You are the safest exactly where God designed you to be, even in your business market. We don't have to fear the predators. We don't have to fear the competition. We don't have to fear the fame or the people that are standing there gawking at how amazingly pink you look out in the middle of this atmosphere. Some of us are scared of success. We're scared of people knowing about us. We're scared of people looking up to us because then we have to deliver. We have to live up to it. And God's just wanting us to stand there and do what he's called us to do and leave the rest to him. Did he not know there'd be predators in your niche? Did he not know there'd be people out there watching you? That's part of why he made you the way you are. So people would see Jesus in you as you do what you were created to do. Such an amazing lesson. I just, I, I think about that so much when people say, talk about fear in business is just that, you know, Flamingo doesn't care about the crocodiles or the tourists. He just does what God created him to do in the place that God put it. And he walks with God in relationship so that, or that's a parallel, right? Like he has that inner barometer so that he knows when it's time to move, when it's time to spread his wings and fly. Very, very, very cool.